Good morning guys. You've probably chosen to watch this video this morning because your RV refrigerator is giving you trouble. Well, follow along with me. I'm going to show you some of the things that I learned in my travels with my RV refrigerator. And I think there's a few tips in here that might help you get the uh, cold that you're looking for. Stay tuned. All right, guys, you're probably wondering what this tarp has to do with RV refrigeration. Well, actually, it doesn't have anything to do with RV refrigeration. It's just been real rainy the last couple days here in the Northwest. So we've chosen to cover the trailer with a tarp. Um, we've got some RV roof repairs going on right now. Um, you can click the link right here to uh, see that video on uh, how to uh, repair some minor leaks in your roof. So uh, besides what's going on there, let's step inside the trailer and we'll talk a little bit about the refrigerator. All right, now on to the fridge. One thing I've noticed about keeping our Dometic refrigerator in our RV cool is that it's good to have it loaded. It's good to have it full of product. I mean, it's not packed in there. It's just loaded. But uh, I find that sometimes when you go to try to look at the temperature on these things and it's empty before you go, you're, you can't get it down to temp. So put your food in it, fill it up with some space, or fill that space up with some stuff, I should say, and uh, it'll come around a lot better. If you just have an empty fridge and you keep looking at the temperature before you go, um, you're going to find it's struggling. The other thing that you need to do too is I've only had this door open for just maybe two minutes now and the temperature's rising. It takes a lot for these units to get down to temperature. Um, they don't run with a compressor like your um, refrigerator in your house does. It's a different operating system. Um, one that I'm not quite familiar with. I'm, I'm not a refrigeration guy, but um, I'll plug this in or I will get the gas turned on and I will get it running a few days before we go to leave. And then I make sure that all my items that I'm putting in here are obviously refrigerated. Even soda cans, drinks, things like that, I'll put in my regular fridge inside the house. So um, when it comes time to put them into the refrigerator, the refrigerator isn't spending all that energy trying to get that brought back down to temperature. So as you can see by that bubble, I'm level from front to back, but I'm a little high on my passenger side of the trailer. Um, and when we looked inside the refrigerator, you could see that I was a little bit on the high side. On the, I was high on the passenger side as well. And you can see that there, front to back. The refrigerator is high, the door is high, the front side of the refrigerator is high, the back side is low. Even though the trailer is level from front to back. So sometimes you want to see what you can get away with. Can you level yourself more? Can you level your refrigerator more? And then see how that affects the overall of the trailer you know um, sometimes you try to level the whole trailer and you get the trailer just perfect and how you want it and your refrigerator is not going to be perfectly level and these are designed to run optimum when they're level so if you can try to level off your refrigerator and then see how the rest of the trailer is you know if it's something you can get away with and you can live with level off of the refrigerator but if it's just too far out of whack, then level off your trailer, but you will be fighting um, with your refrigerator. You can see now that this fridge has been evacuated, that it's only staying to 
45 degrees. So it's kind of struggling now. So just remember, with your refrigerator, um, plug it in a couple of days, get it running before you leave on your trip. Number two, get everything in, that's going to go in that fridge cold before it goes in that fridge. Get everything in the house, sodas, things that are naturally warm. Get those cooled down as cold as you can before you put them in the fridge. Don't pack that fridge full, but you want to have stuff in it. That It just cools a little bit better, I find, versus an empty fridge when we've done our temperature readings on it. Um, and then always try to keep the refrigerator level. Different trailers are going to be different. Sometimes the fridge doesn't stay level when your trailer's exactly level. you got to find that happy medium. But these refrigerators operate best when they're level, front to back, side to side. When you get uh, to where you're going, um, if you can have your trailer in the shade, if you have the luxury of having tree canopies above you, even better. Um, a lot of times that we've gone out where we go, we're out in the desert um, or we're in areas that are kind of sparse on trees. And then when you open that fridge, open, it's just like mom and dad used to say, go what you need and shut the door. Especially with these, they don't operate like your regular fridge, your regular refrigerator at your home. You've got to get in there. You've got to get that stuff. Get what you need, close the door and leave it. And those are the things that are going to help you keep these uh, RV refrigerators running. I hope this helps. Subscribe below, give us a thumbs up, and thanks for watching.